What's up, guys? No cheese back with you. We're back to the future of the game by Telltale. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Everybody out there is getting ready for Halloween. And this game is the 30th anniversary on PS4. I don't know how many people out there actually enjoyed Back to the Future, the trilogy. This takes, like, place after Part 3, just when he gets back. Um, it actually has a cast of Michael J. Fox... Due to time constraints, he couldn't do the uh, the voice for Marty McFly. He did come back and do some, I think, for like the relatives when they travel through time again of the McFly family. But it does bring back Christopher Lloyd as Doc Brown and Tom Wilson as Biff Tannen, butt head. Uh, <laughs> like I said, guys, this is actually 30 years since the movie was made, 1985. It is now 2015. What did it predict? I think it was part two. It predicted uh, the Cubs would win the World Series. Now, the Cubs are in the playoffs, even though well, I'm going to date, date the video now. Uh, they just lost to the New York Mets last night, so that puts them in a 2-0-2 uh, hole. So I don't know if they're going to make it to the series, guys. We'll see if Back to the Future has been accurate. Just no hoverboards yet or lace up, automatic lace-up shoes. <laughs> but let's sit back and enjoy this, and let's do this. He has a new goal. Uh, yeah, sure. Let me see this. All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 1 18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, Einie. Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right. Check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Not me! The car! The car! If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. <laughs> Watch this, watch this. Yeah, <laughs> you dis Doc, you disintegrated Einstein. <laughs> what did I tell you? 88 miles per hour! The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Ah, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Doc, you disintegrated Einstein! Come down, Marty. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact. Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. And at precisely uh, 21 a.m. Yeah. and zero seconds, Put a door we shall time catch up with him and the time the classic machine. Learning. Just out of many classic lines, you build a time machine out of a DeLorean. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flush dispersal. Look out! Uh, Doc? The hell? Oh, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, w what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Uh... 
Alright guys, let's take a look here, see what's going on. Uh, I know how to do this, damn, I didn't know how to hold all the notes. Maybe I don't know how to do this. Alright, I know the hints, thank you. Seal container, no thank you. Toolbox. Alright. Notebook, notebook. Got it. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's mass equals I times Z. This is the way it happens. Um, yeah, we gotta get out of here before the Libyans show up. Let's go. Let's go, Doc. Go, Doc. Something's way off here. I'm sorry, Marty. Doc, come back! Doc! Alright, so this is not following the movie to the T, which Doc! is a good thing. Oh. Marty? Is everything okay? Yeah, Mom. I... It was, it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late. There we go, guys. Did you notice the weird science poster in the background? Sorry guys, looks like I actually have a chance to talk in this one. Now, like I said, if you want to see more of this, I'm going to keep pumping it out along with some other stuff I have. Um, you know, Nathan Drake collection, all this, other, all this other stuff. I like to multitask. But if you like, you know, just hit the like button, leave a comment. It always helps, just shows me that it's appreciated and just motivates me to really keep cranking things out. I uh, hope everybody got their Halloween costume all set up. I don't know if you guys seen any of my other videos, but I'm going to be the Joker. The Jack, Nich Jack Nicholson Joker. I think he played the best one, so I got my purple suit. My girlfriend found it. A purple fedora. And she's gonna be paint my face. So, uh, I don't know. He's always... Jack Nicholson, to me, he's got the the right look. Like, if you ever seen The Shining? You know, if you don't want to watch that, like, 2 in the morning, I'm, I'm sure you'll sleep very well. <laughs> Dad! Are we too late to stop the... Sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc stuff. The city has no right now, to... Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage, and... Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty. Hi, Biff. <laughs> Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm just... ...remembering. Alright guys, let me... Give me one second. I'll be with you guys in a minute.
All right, guys, sorry about the transition. I finally got around to making sure I had subtitles on. So my apologies. All right, what do we got? No, 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 not the door. Einstein's bowl. I miss Einstein. Oh, the dog feeder. Yeah, buddy. Hey, let me. Now, Biff, leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh, sure. D sorry, Marty. Oh, we gotta get a can of dog food. Dog feeder, Einstein's bowl, TV, more clocks. It's our pops. Let's take a look at the town square model. The clock tower. Doc built this model at downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Uh, I saw it first. Family connections. I guess I, oh, well, I guess I had my pop involved. Uh, I saw it first. Come on, I saw it first. Yeah, I guess you're right. But I picked it up first. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. It looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me to... Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. <laughs> Alright, I gotta get that notebook back. And scientific equipment. The mind reading helmet. Feels like that was a lifetime ago. Actually, I guess it was. Shoot box. Hey, let me try, Marty. But he's like a big. Now he's like Biff, a big kid. Let Marty have his turn. Uh, you got it, Mr. McFly. No, no, no. Let him play. Go ahead. Let him play with it. Damn it. He actually, put it down. Enough of that junk. Now, Biff. Sorry, Marty. Come on, Pop. Stay out of it. I need that model. All right. We can zap him with some. All right, let's talk. Let's talk to Biff. Hey, Biff. You want to understand it? I'll buy it from. Well, he wants to get paid, so let me see if I can bribe I'll pay him. You for it. How much? Uh... Not enough. <laughs> he really don't care about people's. I only want that notebook Relationships. because, well, I'm, I'm it's kind sentimental. Of a <laughs> it's like a piece of Doc. Doc's dead. Time to get over it and move on. You wouldn't understand the notebook? That notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You calling me ignorant? <laughs> the notebook's worthless. Just a notebook with Doc's scribblings. What did Doc ever accomplish? Nothing. Yeah, then it's worthless, right? If it was really worthless, you wouldn't want it so bad. It's got his Adidas, Adidas tracksuit on. All right, let's get out of uh, here. Never mind. We gotta find something. We gotta get those, get that model out of his hand. Let me turn the television on. I saw the TV back here because he's running for the jukebox. I can't, I can't do that because Pops gets involved. That no, I guess I can't walk back that way. Electrical equipment? Looks like a hand crank lightning rod. Or maybe a lightning powered pencil sharpener. Alright. Oh, the guitar! Yeah, buddy. Want his guitar. Let's do this. Hey, Dad. Wh why's my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. Let's hook it up. Let's make some noise. All 
Alright, so we got the amplifier controls. Let's plug this thing it into the amp. forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. Uh... Alright, let's do this. Picture of Pops. Alright, let's do it. No. It may not look like much, but it packs a wallet. Alright, I don't want to inspect it. Let's plug it in. What are you doing? No! Sorry, guys. Alright, open up the inventory. Let's do the amplifier. Come on. I better not crank it up anymore. I really don't want to blow this thing out again. Right, let's plug it in there, man. Amplifier. It took me forever no. to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. Alright, fine. Select the guitar again. Use it. There we go. There we go. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. You blow that thing clear across the room. Let me show you how it's done. Now, Biff, I think that's Marty's guitar. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, you're right, Mr. McFly. Oh, here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. Yeah, but it didn't knock did it knock the notebook out. Damn it. We gotta crank this thing a little bit more. And now something your kids are really gonna like. Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. Biff, Pop, stop I getting involved. I told you not to take my son's guitar. Oh, right. Uh, sure thing, Mr. McFly. Uh, I was just warming him up for you, Marty. Let's see what you got. Damn it, he's just gonna grab the model again. Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. Alright, let's start the pops. You gotta tell him, you know, be easy. I got this. Hey, Dad. I could, uh, I don't want to be a dick. Nah, he's not going to believe me. He's be like, in your mind, I had a dream. I could fight my own fights. About Biff, Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle him. So can I. I guess you can. Okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. But you know where to find me. Alright. Who's running the sale? Well, the bank. Who's running the sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You. What? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly. Uh, Doc's alive, though. I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know... Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I hate to say it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. Uh, you got Doc wrong. Yeah, you got Doc wrong. You got Doc wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so good with money. That, that's just because his mind's always on bigger things. But he's still a straight-up guy. He'd never run away from his problems. Well, you know him better than I do, son. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Maybe you should try to find some things to remember him by before Biff grabs them all. All right. I'll keep looking let's, around. Thanks, Now Dad. that I know he's not going to interfere, let's go do this. Uh, we'll try the... Try the jukebox first. No, no, no. Hope that wasn't poison gas or anything. There we go. 
Wait, I, I got one. Damn it. All right, let's try the guitar again. You want to hear a number by Biff and the Biff Tones? Always happy to play for my adoring fans. Yeah, buddy, it's gonna blow him right through the wall. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. <laughs> Rock on, Biff. Oh, shit. I'll take that. Yoink. Uh, Doc, where are you? There he is. Well, there somebody is. 1.21 gigawatts. <laughs> I know, I'm a big geek. It's all good. I enjoyed this. All three movies thoroughly. <laughs> That's right. That shit cold. Hey, buddy. Where did you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? All right, let's see. A shoe. It's a shoe okay, about. Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. All right, let's see what he has. Let's see what he has recorded on here. Marty. Ah. Marty, if you're hearing this recording, then the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I programmed the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity. And despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now. Or then. Or, uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you've come to my rescue in the past. Or was it the future? <laughs> I'm relying on you to do it again. Please, take the DeLorean back. Or, or forward. To whatever it is, I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you going to tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading marked last time departed. Good luck. Right, right. Last time departed. Last time Flux departed. Flux capacitor. Uh, Power oh, up. Jeez. Come on. Come on. Come on. Crap. Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? Oh, man. I don't want it. That's where you punch everything in. Uh, present destination. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I know when to look for Doc. All right, let's try. Let's... Looks like the time circuits still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. This thing have like a. A callback number. I can use those to enter a all date right, into right. the time circuits. All right, all right. Well, once I know when to look for Doc. Time circuit display. I can use those Ugh. to enter a date into the time circuits. All right, let's see what I got in my inventory. Well, once I know when to look for Doc. Let's see. What, what do we got, guys? The shoe... This time traveling shoe is my only clue to finding Doc. This notebook has all of Doc's plans for the flux capacitor and the DeLorean. I'd better make sure it never falls into the wrong hands. And by wrong hands, I mostly mean Biff. All right, guys, so we have a shoe. Did we beat the shoe against anything? I guess not. All right, 
Let me see if I exit the car, if there's anything... Anything Einstein can show me. Hey, buddy. What's up, Einy? What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einy? Alright, you are no help. <laughs> I don't know if I have to go back inside, if there's anything I need. I guess not. I am going into the DeLorean. And I gotta figure this out, guys. Uh, the guy... If you're wondering who is doing the voice of Marty McFly this time around is AJ Look, uh, what the hell's his name? Lo Casino. I think I'm saying that right. Sorry if I'm not. But this guy's voice, I was watching the little I guess preview reel that came on the DV on the uh on the game on the Blu-ray. And this guy's voice is look him up and try to find something on YouTube about him and then look at Michael J. Fox playing the part of Marty McFly. The voices, it's, I don't know, it's amazing. It's, like, identical. All right, let's see what we got to do here, guys. What is this? Follow trail of Doc. Stop it. Go away. I know that. Uh, let's see. We have a tape recorder. All right, is there anything else in here that we could... That we can mess with. I guess not. What the hell does this do? Trying to help. Something smells fishy. What? Those are hints. Alright, let's... Let's examine this thing. You know what? What if we give it to Einstein? Let's get out of the car. Let's, get, let's give this to Einie. And see what happens. All right, buddy. Here's a shoe for you. What do you know about this shoe, Einie? Yeah, buddy. Great Scott! I think he's onto something. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Einie? All right, guys, I'm gonna stop it right here. I hope you enjoyed this uh, first part. I'll be coming at you with more. And with that being said, you guys stay safe, stay classy, and I will see you on the.